All right, so we're still in the key of G, and I want to show you another classic double stop idea. So what's going on is I'm kind of doing like some classic licks in this home row here. But anything I do on the G string, I'm going to double up on the B string with it. So if we're in the G minor pentatonic still. So anything I do on the G string, and that's the blues note right there. I'm just doubling down and hitting the B string with it. So what it requires is just flattening your index finger instead of pointing it for the... Instead it's... So on the D string I'm hitting the single note. And then I go to the third fret of the G, but I also hit the third fret of the B. And then with my ring finger, I hit the fifth fret of the G and B. And then with one pick, I can slide a half step up and back. Now an octave up, exact same thing, which would be the uh, 17th fret on the D string root. So watch this. With one pick, a slide and back, then the third fret. So check it out. Again. Then I'm going to go fifth on the G and B. So when you put that together, Then the third on the G and B, so we go again, and then I end on the root. I did there just just now was I just went into that concept from the root up the blues scale. You could do it from the extension where the ring fingers on the root and you go a whole step below. up an octave here, all right, so another variation on that would be to you, you double up on that with the index finger, the third fret of the G and the B, but then when you get to the fifth fret of uh, the G and B, you can use your ring finger and pinky, and I'll use those two fingers to bend it instead of, I can go.
right? So hopefully that's uh, making sense to you. And I can't wait to show you more in the next video. So hang tight.